Hello YouTube, here we have a Hampton Bay Raleigh 3 ceiling fan. This fan was made in November of 2003. As you can see, this fan is in the polished brass finish. I have the oak side showing down because the other side was pretty messed up to the point where if I used my cleaning chemical, it would probably ruin the finish of the blades. So I did not bother to clean it. I got this fan from another collector. Uh, this morning came in the mail. So I decided to put it up in my office. It looks really good in here. Very, very happy with the fan. Um, very good range of speeds um, for these. Um, this thing has a really nice low, very fast high, very quiet. It wobbles a little bit, but that's all right. Um, it didn't have a down rod or anything, so I put one on there. You can tell it wasn't. Missing the trim ring too, but that's not a big deal for me. I don't really care. Um, so basically, these were made from I believe the late 90s to the mid 2000s, late 2000s, somewhere in that ballpark. I think they got discontinued in 06, 07, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, these were basically the Cameron 2 Plus smaller version with the lights. Um, although it's not, it looks a lot like a Cameron. Has a air cool, 153 millimeter motor in it. Um, blade pitch is pretty decent for what it is. Pretty decent blade pitch. So this basically has the same motor that they're still using it today. Uh, the Glendales have the same motor. I have three EcoSmart LEDs that came with a Hampton Bay Glendale, which have a very nice look to them. They look to me like incandescent glow. Maybe a little bit higher intensity, but that's what it looks like they have. I'm going to start this off on low. Uh, fan's in okay shape. It's got scratches all over it and whatnot. Uh, shipping didn't really do much help for it. Um, it's kind of bent up a little bit in some spots. That's that's fine. I don't really care too much. Um, it works. It's somewhat presentable. I don't really give a shit. Well, glasses are original either. That's what it came with. Um, I'm assuming it either had these on there or none at all. But they, I think they look fine on it, so I don't really feel like changing them out. Here's medium. Uh, you might hear the wind machine in the background. It's really stuffy in here. So, um, you know, running a fan in here to keep it kind of air circulating while I was putting this up. Here's high. This thing is really fast for a 153 fan. Airflow is really good too. Had to oil the bearings and the chains, but other than that, it's really quiet. They were just stiff. I'm assuming from being in a hot truck all day for a couple days, probably stiffened them up. That's my guess. But I'm not Albert Einstein. Can't assume what the issue was, but that's my educated guess. Um, they probably might have already had bearing issues. It's not anything crazy. It's just like sitting for a while, bearing problems. I really like these. I made a video of one, I think, last year or the year before. It was in my mom's friend's old house. It was on a long down rod. You might have seen the video. Um, I can link it. If I feel like if I feel like it, I'll link it in the video. I will also link the original video of this fan as well. Give credit to who I bought it from. It wobbles worse on reverse than it does it forward. Oh, the way the glass kind of counteracts so out of misbalance. I would try balancing it, but these are those kind of blade irons that if you go to bend them back, they're just going to snap. So I'm not even going to bother bending these back. They're not worth it, in my eyes at least. They're not really worth it to bend back. It's not to the point where it's an issue. Like, maybe the chain will clank into another chain, but it's not like a severe... It's not to the point where, like, the fan will fall down 
It's just like it's just like your average sort of fan wobble. I'm sure over time will even itself out or whatever, but you know, for now it wobbles a little bit. Big whoop. We're not gonna use it on the high setting anyway in here, so it's not really a big deal. It'll probably usually be on low. Either low or medium. It's usually what we use the fans in here on. Most of the time they're usually off because uh, we don't really come in here too much. It's mostly just a storage room at this point. So, uh, it has a very long spin down time that I put some, uh, some of the good stuff is crap in there. Let's do a couple drops and the fans have spin downs for like way longer than they would have from the factory. It's insane how good this stuff is. I'm not sponsored by CRC, although I wish I was because I love their products, but no, it's just, yeah, you know. Highly recommend the oil. It looks better. It looks better on camera than it does in person. The fan. There's, there's. I don't want to clean the grease off because my fan's gonna ruin the blades, scratches, whatever. Nothing big. I don't really care. But you know, I'm just saying. There's the Hampton Bay logo for you guys right there. Should have shown that in the beginning of the video, but didn't get a chance to really think about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of this Hampton Bay Rally 3. Um, if you have any questions about the fan, feel free to put them in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and have a good one, everybody.